on a one. Yep. If you lead into it, just a Uh, Aldous is the New Zealand resident journalist. Would you like to begin? Great. It's, uh, Tom, congratulations on your performance. I mean, coming to the crease 56 for four and to end up the day 236 for four, just give us an insight into how you and Daryl approach that because uh, it's changed the course of the test match. Yeah, it was a very tough sort of situation to come into, but I thought me and Daryl, you know, we showed intent. Um, I think it's that, it's that sort of wicket where if you show a bit of intent, um, you know, the runs will, will come. Um, but that's what we spoke about really, is just trying to build a partnership. Um, and obviously, you know, ended the day pretty well. Yeah, as, when you came out there though, was, did you feel like that, that the pressure was on? I mean, given that the state of the game and... I mean, it could potentially have been over in two days as a result of what we'd seen in the initial stages. I mean, how much did how did you cope with that pressure, if you like? Yeah, it was just doing, just doing my things, playing the way I want to play, and like like I said before, it's being positive. Um, you know, it's that sort of wicket. But um, you know, I thought Daryl batted um, especially well, um, and to build a partnership like that was pretty pleasing. And how did you try to break that rhythm of of the English bowlers because? They'd, they'd established themselves fairly well, particularly in the, the first innings. Mm. And I mean, see, Daryl was sort of batting out of his crease there at one stage to try and break it up. Is there anything you did? Um, I think it's just trying to play the ball late. Um, there was a little shape early on, um, but for me, it was just trying to play play the ball late as possible um, and look to hit really straight. You know, the the pitch is a little bit slow, um, quite hard to get a bit, bit of rhythm at times. But um, you know, if you get through that, you know, and just keep on bringing the bowlers back, and um, I thought we did that really well. I know you've got to live in the moment, but only one New Zealand side has won a test at Lords in 1999. What would it mean to, to secure a victory here at the, the home of cricket? Obviously, it would mean, mean a lot, um, but there's a long way to go in this game. Um, Daryl and I have got a big job tomorrow to um, continue that, to, uh, that lead, but um, you know, ultimately it would be, be fantastic. Can you, uh, do you say a word of thanks for your bowlers? Because after you probably went into the sheds after the first innings, you might have thought, you might have thought you'd drop this one, but they, they give you a chance to have a second bite. Yeah, they bowled really well. Um, I think when England was 60 for none, it wasn't, wasn't looking good, but um, the way our bowlers came back and um, showed their class, their world-class attack, and um, you know, hopefully we can replicate that um, um, in the next innings. Just ask, what's it like as a batter facing a bowler in Matt Parkinson who you didn't think was in the team when you stepped out on the field for the first time. It's an, an, an unusual bowler as well in, as, a, as a leg spinner through the air. So I just wonder how that affects you when you're facing someone you hadn't prepared to, to come up against. Yeah, it's a little bit tough, but um, you know, we, we, got, we had some footage available um, this morning. Had a quick look at that, um, which, which was really good. Um, but to get a side of him and face, him, face a few overs from him was, um, was good. Um, closing in on 100 at Lords. Uh, yeah, obviously it'd be would be great, but you know, for me that's you know um, I've got a big job tomorrow, Daryl and I, to build that lead. Um, but yeah, you know that that would be great, but you know at the moment I'm not not really thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, like we've we've got a we've got a lead, and uh, Daryl and I tried to remind ourselves we've got to build that. Um, we've got a job to do. You know, those milestones will you know take care of themselves. Um, but you know, f- first and foremost, we've, we've got a job to do, and that, that's increase our lead. And hopefully, we can do that more tomorrow. Um, it could be a, it's probably a new ball wicket when the ball's a little bit harder. Um, we found it swung a lot, sw- it swung more, um, and definitely nibbled off the wicket. Um, but when that ball gets soft, it can be easier to bat. Um, it's still still tough. It's not easy to bat out there. It's I think there's enough in it for the bowlers. Um, I, I thought England bowled really well. They bowled quite tight. 
Um, but there was periods for us where we were able to score. So it's just betting time um, and trying to build a partnership. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, you know he probably will be. I'd imagine he would be here. You know, it would be a pretty cool moment. But um, yeah, we've got a we've got a job to do tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just, just obviously, your batting is a bit of a rough drop. Um, yeah, it was just it was just trying to play our, our style. I think both Daryl and I are aggressive or positive players, and I think if we stuck to that and we trusted that, you know, we had the best chance of succeeding out there. And um, and I thought that we did that really, really well. Yeah, I think I guess it's just knowing your areas, knowing where you want to score. Um, for Daryl, it's you know anything over pitch, or both of us, anything over pitch, we look to capitalise on. Um, but I thought England really bowled really well, and it's just trying to be patient. Um, and I thought we brought the bowlers back, kept on bringing them back, and there was times where we were able to score. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do more of that tomorrow. All right, thanks very much, everyone. Well, I'm Tom. Cheers.